Hi, hello and welcome dear story listeners. Here comes a wonderful riddle and a very lovely story for all of you to cherish and listen. With clothes of green and a bark but not like a dog's. I am home for many, food for a lot. I have a trunk but not an elephant. People climb me, cut me and burn me. They take me for granted. My rings are not of gold, but they do tell me my age. Who am I? I repeat the riddle with clothes of green and a bark, but not like a dog's. I am home for many, food for a lot. I have a trunk, but I am not an elephant. People climb me, cut me and burn me. They take me for granted. My rings are not of gold, but they do tell me my age. Who am I? So, after you finish listening to the story, you'll be able to tell me the answer. The title of the story will be given in the end. Once upon a time, there was a tree and she loved a little boy. And every day, the boy would come and he would gather her leaves and make them into crowns and play king of the forest. He would climb up her trunk and swing from her branches. And when he was tired, he would sleep in her shade. And the boy loved the tree very, very much. And the tree was very happy. But time went by and the boy grew older and the tree was often alone. Then one day, the boy came to the tree and the tree said, Come boy, come and climb up my trunk and swing from my branches and eat apples and play in my shade and be happy. I'm too big to climb and play, said the boy. I want to buy things and have fun. I want some money. Can you give me some money? I'm sorry, said the tree. I have no money. I have only leaves and apples. Take my apples, boy, and sell them in the city. Then you will have money and you'll be happy. And so the boy climbed up the tree and gathered her apples and carried them away. And the tree was very happy to give all the apples she had. But the boy stayed away for a long time and the tree was sad. And then one day, the boy came back and the tree shook with joy and she said, Come boy, come and climb up my trunk and swing from my branches and eat apples and play in my shade and be happy. I'm too busy to climb trees, said the boy. I want a house to keep me warm. I want a wife and I want children. And so I need a house. Can you give me a house? I have no house. The forest is my house, said the tree. But you may cut off my branches and build a house. Then you will be happy. And so the boy cut off her branches and carried them away to build a house. And the tree was happy to give her branches. But the boy stayed away for a long time and the tree was sad. And when he came back, the tree was so happy she could hardly speak. Come boy, she whispered, come and play. I'm too old and sad to play. I want a boat that will take me far, far away from here. Can you give me a boat? Cut down my trunk and make a boat, said the tree. Then you can sail away and be happy. And so the boy cut down her trunk and made a boat and sailed away. And the tree was happy, but not really. And after a long time, the boy came back again. I am sorry, boy, but I have nothing left to give you. My apples are gone. My teeth too are weak for apples, 
said the boy. My branches are gone. You cannot swing on them. I am too old to swing on branches. My trunk is gone. You cannot climb me, said the tree. I am too tired to climb. I am sorry. I wish that I could give you something, but I have nothing left. I am just an old stump. I am sorry, really sorry, said the tree. I don't need very much anything right now. Just a quiet place to sit and rest. I am very, very tired. Well, said the tree, straightening herself up as much as she could. An old stump is good for sitting and resting. Come, boy, come sit down and rest. And the tree was happy. Now, you would have known the answer for the riddle. I have a very thoughtful question. What are you? A consuming little boy or a contributing little tree? And there is so much more to ponder about. About the tree and the boy in so many different angles and perspectives. Think about it. Think for yourself. Until I meet you all with another episode of Stories and Poems, signing off from you. Storyteller Abhi Kumar from Story Island.